Hi guys, I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, and this is... I'm Don Dalman, hello. And we are standing beside the all-new e-tron Sportback. Yeah, it's totally new and it will come out next year, so in 2020, second quarter, maybe at the end. So you think, uh, hmm, a coupe, how does it look? Well, we're going to show you. You see the lights. They're new, we will show you a bit more because they have a total new light system also installed. And they actually have a projector in there, so you guys are going to have to watch a completely separate video to see exactly how these bags exactly. work. So this, is, this is really cool stuff. And they have changed the front a bit, basically saying what they did is a different design line, they're called S-Line, you know that from the other Audis, and you can see that they have painted it a bit silver, so we have some highlights there, you can see that the grill is still the same so it didn't change a lot but i think these little design stuff that they did did uh, a lot of good to the car if we move around yeah um, you can see now a little bit better um, and you can start to see what's going on in the end with this car until here it's an e-tron. It's, it's an e-tron. It's what you know, it's what we showed you last year from Abu Dhabi. It has also these uh, camera mirrors, or so-called camera mirrors. Um, but this is just a normal e-tron. But when you go to Nicole, so from here back, it's a completely new car. So what they've actually done is they've taken the A7 top and they've just basically plopped it on top of the e-tron body, which is why we have a different line going all the way to the back. Now, structurally, it looks really similar to what we have with the normal e-tron. Yeah. The lights are sort of the same, but the lines are definitely different. So because we have this kind of coupe swoop here, we lose a little bit of volume in trunk space. So we're looking at, what was it? Six 10 liters. 10 liters less, yeah. just, just there about. But at the same time, it's a pretty sexy design that actually is a little bit more aerodynamic than the original e-tron. So I think it's 2.5 versus 2.7? Yeah, 2.5 versus 2.7. Um, it's of course because you have this shape. It's just easier for the wind, let's say, for aerodynamic purposes. So it helps uh, a bit with also the range. Uh, in the end, but we will talk about it later because I also changed technically something to the Coupe version and actually to all the e-trons, but uh, especially, especially this. this. One. If you look at the, at the shape, it's like Nicole said, it's the A7. So you can really see the A7. You have still the normal e-tron here, but then up here, it's up suddenly here. the A7. And I think, so I think it fits the car very well. I mean, the first thought I had when I saw it was like, why didn't they do it in the first time? Like, yeah, like, like why wasn't this the it? original yeah. version? Yeah. <laughs> so personally, no, personally. Personally. No, and, and it's not that I didn't love the original e-tron. I, de I definitely have a very warm place in my heart for it. But somehow this just feels a little bit more sporty, which goes along with the drive style. So yeah. out, like the Audi drive style is very sporty and it is very kind of like the quadros there and you're gripping to the road. And so this sort of sportier top almost fits better with what I kind of go with the Audi drive style. So I think that this is a very good natural move for the e-tron line. Yeah, exactly. And you don't lose that much uh, in, in trunk space. If you, uh, if you open it, you can see that it's still reasonable a lot of space. So it's 650 liters instead of 660. And they've made a little change putting this hardback in there, yeah, the which is really now. nice. Yeah, exactly. And then one of my favorite features, the little smuggler box in, in here, which is always really good to have. Yeah, you can, you can actually put a little person in it. You can put a tiny person, I don't <laughs> a know. Very tiny person, but you can put a tiny person <laughs> in it. Yeah, so you see they have a, uh, they still have a lot of room in, in the Still a big truck space. And, and, and you do a lot of, yeah, and now we're coming... We can kind of mention this little number here. So this is the 55 Quattro. There's actually going to be a version where it comes out with a 50, which is really great because this is a basic version and it's going to be 11 hundred dollars cheaper than the original e-tron but has a smaller battery yeah um that's why we talk about technical changes yes sorry but i'm I getting think, ahead of myself yeah um <laughs> no, no 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 it's totally fine yeah of course there will be a second version of it but it was clear that it was something was going to happen but they're going to make a second version but we're going to talk about this when we get into the car and show it we showed you the front so that's not, uh, you know that from the sitting the in the original. front the last time. Now we're going to sit in the back. In the back. Because we also just want to show you that the line of the car is a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. You still have enough space to sit. So 
as you can see, still lots of room. I mean, Don, you're much taller than I am. Yeah, I'm 186. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's it's very spacious. I mean, in front of us are two cameramen. You can't see them, uh, but they are kneeling on the front seats and they still have enough space to to do their job. So no, it's and we have like enough and we space. have plenty of space it's, here in the back. It's a very spacious car, even yeah. with a new roof line. Yeah, it's and it's everything it. that you expect from the Audi build. We yeah. have like the Alcatara on the sides and the plastic with the. I yeah. mean, this is still a pre-production car. That's true. So, That's true. Um, and but the quality is, is like is Audi. What, you, what you expect. Everything is everything what you see and everything what you want. Everything what you touch is, is yeah, is what you. So this the is quality, the yeah. second e-tron, basically. Yeah. Right. So they've taken all of the learnings from the very first one and they've made a few tweaks not really to the interior but to the car itself uh, the one that i found the most interesting was the change to the one pedal drive experience yeah that, 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 that that's something that i was sort of getting into when we were doing our drive in abu dhabi so uh, the fact that they've added a uh, 30 percent more uh recuperation not like uh, slow slowing power so it's like a more responsive one pedal drive. It doesn't actually change anything with the kinetic energy and the recuperation, mm. but it's 30% more powerful. Yeah, and we had the car in Abu Dhabi uh, and they start selling the car shortly after. And then of course they had customer feedback, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So they made some subtle, but but uh, very interesting changes to the, not to the whole technology that, that's built in, but for example, you can use now more battery power. It's still the same battery, but they always have leaving a reserve and the reserve was like 12% uh, from the whole uh, battery. And now it's nine, so they give you three percent more of uh, of battery power, which also contributes to the additional range because this exactly. car will get uh, ten miles or kilometers. Did he say? Well, in total, it's a bit you know unofficial, uh, right. so we have to be a bit cautious about the numbers. But it will do around ten percent more than the than the original uh, e-tron when it came to market. But the same changes that this car is getting, the coupe version is getting, is getting also uh, is, um, is also happening. coming to the to the uh, normal uh, e-tron uh, that you're gonna have. So that's a that's a bit of a change. I found that very interesting because they seem to learn very quickly. And they seem to integrate the learnings also very quickly. And this is for the whole industry something new. You know how long it takes to develop cars, five years, and so on, and so on. And if you want to change like one screw, you exactly. So you have to start like from from from, from the, the beginning. Yeah, but they do it because mostly most of the stuff is software. They can do it. I, I, at the moment more quickly well and that's actually the most impressive thing that i'm taking away from this experience they're going to be switching to daily otas on the e-tron yes right as opposed to it was every three months and yeah. the reason why they had to make that switch is the charging network is just growing so quickly so they need to be able to push these updates so the cars can find chargers exactly you have the navigation system which isn't bad in the uh in the audi absolutely not mm -hmm. it's one of the best that you can get on the market uh, because you have this one, there's a new version uh, with the two displays. Um, and they integrated the charging situation. You know it from Tesla, maybe, uh, if you have a Tesla owner, that it shows always the best route with the best charger. So if the charger is not working, whatever, it also shows it. So because in Germany and Europe, the charging network is growing rapidly uh, by, by dozens of months, they have to make daily daily updates daily you know, updates it's, it's so impressive yeah like which pushing, is really impressive yeah, yeah. yeah pushing daily updates you know um so we have like two different cars now you have the e-tron and you have the e-tron coupe which are basically the same cars technically but uh you can choose in the future and this is a bit of a surprise this is a very big surprise to, for, to another version yeah so there's going to be the 50 Right, so this is the 55. There's going to be a 50, oh, which yeah, is a the base. Of these cars. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah. We don't want to talk <laughs> about that. We don't want to talk yeah. about that. But there's a a a base version that's going to yeah. come with a smaller battery. I think it was a 72 watt hour, 72 watt hour. which should give you around unofficially uh, around 350, 340, 350. 340, yeah. yeah, this kind of range, which is a great city car. Yeah, and it's still enough, 350 kilometers. I mean, uh, because you have the quick charge, it's like half an hour. You have like 200 kilometers or 250 or something. And so this is, this is, this is, uh, the battery is, is quickly refilled. The thing is, which is, what is interesting is, 
uh, it's much cheaper. Yeah, I was just going to say the price, 11K uh, cheaper. Yeah. Which is a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you pay for the... So if we talk about prices, we don't have the official prices for the coupe, we have to say. Uh, but we had some people telling us or giving us some numbers. Uh, so the base version of the e-tron um, in Germany or in Europe is 80,900 euros. I think in the States it's below 80,000. It's just of below. Texas is a bit, it's a bit lower. But uh, around this corner, um, the coupe version will cost you a bit more like uh, it was always with uh, with with coupe so but we, what we heard is around two and a half maybe three maybe three and a half thousand euros more which is not a lot um and then you get the uh little e-tron version the 72 uh, kilowatt version which is 11k cheaper so the price will drop under seventy thousand. and for this car with this technology under seventy thousand. I won't say it's a bargain. <laughs> Maybe not. Depends on how much you have on your bank account. But uh, yeah, for this car, is it's a very, very good offer. Yeah. I mean, if... it's smaller than the Tesla X, yes. Um, but uh, I think it's better looking. Yeah. No, I would definitely agree with yeah. that. And then they have a whole bunch of new things in it, like the yeah. projectors and the lights, like yeah. the improved brakes. There's... There's just and then the, the daily OTAs kind of brings them in line with what Tesla's yeah. doing. I mean, at least now. I mean, I was at um, a Volkswagen event earlier this week, yeah. and they were like, "We have OTAs," and I was like, "Well, this is great." <laughs> so, I mean, like, not all car car manufacturers are embracing that reality of daily updates, and so that to me is a big advantage for the e-tron. It's absolutely something that you have to. I mean, if you want to buy a car now. If you're looking for an SUV or with an electric engine, uh, you can choose from the EQC. You have the um, the Tesla, of course. You have the e-tron. You have the Kona, which is a kind of crossover yeah. from Hyundai. Um, so you have some cars that you can choose from. But the Kona is, of course, a bit cheaper. It has another quality level, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is a, maybe not comparable to what you have here. So in the end, it's the EQC, the Tesla X, and, and this car at the moment on the market. And it's a really a good offer, especially with a smaller battery. I normally would always go for the larger one, but in this case, I mean, come on, 350 kilometers, under 70K, with this kind of luxury that you can yeah. get from it. And, and you get, even the base version has like a very good um, interior. Yeah, it w I mean, it, it, it should be the same. And the thing yeah. that I can't iterate enough is that that Audi driving style from the petrol engine, oh, yeah, yeah, they've yeah. really moved that over to the yeah. e-version, which, you know, if, if driving is important to you, which it is to a lot of people, the experience will be identical to a regular gas car. And that's not always something that you can say about electric vehicles. Yeah, they. I mean, in terms of weight, it's the same with a normal e-tron. So they, they, they changed some technical specs, but in the end, it's, it's the same weight. And we drove it in Abu Dhabi and we drove it up uh, the hill, uh, this famous road in yeah, Abu Dhabi. The famous I forgot road. the name. But there's <laughs> one famous road that you can drive up the hill. Everybody filmed their cars there. So, um, and it was really sporty. It was, it was. It was really working well. And I think um, the same goes for the coupe. It has the same suspension, there's nothing, nothing changed. But it's, yeah, so you get a sporty car, it's not as like, the EQC drives it a little bit more different. It's mm -hmm. more like, Mercedes-like, right. so it's more smoother, it's more maybe also not not so firm uh, uh, in the ride, but yeah, if you want to have a bit more sporty car and, and also use it also for some kind of sporting driving on, on, on rural roads, yeah, you can you definitely go for the e-tron. And that doesn't matter if you have a bigger or smaller battery. When with a smaller one, it should be also less uh, less weight. Less weight, yeah, because you're, you're losing 100 kilo, 150 or so. Hmm. So I'll be. I I hope that when they bring us on the drive. Oh yeah, hello. Um, Audi. Hello, Audi. <laughs> um, that we'll be able to test both versions. Actually, I would be really interested to see the different yeah. uh, experience between yeah. the two different cars. So if um, I think I think that we've covered enough from this video, but we do have a second one specifically about the lighting. Yes. Because of the projector in the headlights, we wanted to wait till the sun went down a little bit to show that off a little more brilliantly. Exactly. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to our podcast, Don and I have one 
one. It's everywhere that you can find podcasts. It's Spotify, just called iTunes. iTunes. Uh, it's just called the Mobile Geeks Mobility Podcast. Exactly. So you can just search it that way. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you leave some questions in the comments? We're active and we'll get back to you. So. Absolutely. So that was the Audi e-tron coupe. Mm, and if you're wondering why we are a little bit sweaty and having like, <laughs> so we shot that video in September. No, it was even August. August. It's, it's still August. August. It's yeah. still August. But yeah. we, uh, but we weren't allowed to show this video before um, the LA Motor Show, actually, yeah. where this car was officially shown. So don't. To worry we are not somewhere in the south we are actually in sweden at yeah the moment. in gotland in gotland <laughs> if you ever come here do it it's it's really nice uh, the car is gone by then but <laughs> but the island is still nice so thanks for watching yeah and we'll see you guys soon bye bye